Hello again. Ahoy hoy! It's time to do a long dungeon. Yay! Long dungeon! It's final dungeon time! So... It's the final dungeon! Doo -doo -doo -doo. Here we go. <sighs> and we got a little plant guy with us. You know, I might actually move him out. <laughs> Just, uh... <laughs> Just get rid of them at all. Okay. Just to get rid of the distraction. But it's a cute distraction. It's a cute distraction. Like me. <laughs> so, as per usual, as per usual, we've got this little guy to start off. Ooh, I like the symmetry going on. Get all those lit up. Ooh ah. And here is our new element for the dungeon. Oh, we have a new element. Well, is it unobtainium? <laughs> or like what, I should, what I should it? say, it's not really a new element. It's a new puzzle element. Ah. Uh. What is it then? And the uh, I don't know if it actually has a name in the game itself. The development hmm. name for this is Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Huh? Um, and it is reactive with everything. Oh, I see. So shock pulls it closer to you. Heat sends it flying far away. Death. This is here to teach you that there are these little reset things. Ooh. And, uh, yeah, we're going to see all about how this works as we go. But first, Yay. this guy. Whoa! The Black Knight always triumphs! <laughs> Too late. Very intimidating looking. Yeah, he's an intimidating looking guy. Right, you. Do you want to check and see if you have the right equipment? Oh, I do have the right okay. equipment. Okay, I remember no, last I'm time just... that was a problem. <coughs> yeah, I do have the right equipment on. Okay. Everything is where it's supposed to be. I'm just not quite okay. as high level as you tend to be later in this temple. Oh, why not? Because I haven't leveled yet. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello everyone! Is that the whole dungeon already? <laughs> I certainly hope not. <laughs> hello all! Everyone else here as well? Looks like the dungeon includes outdoor areas this time. I see! Ooh. That's neat. Onwards into unexplored land. Let's go! Oh, we're outside again. Looks like it. I'm glad he actually was able to show up for this one. But why wouldn't he? Where's Emily? I guess she's way ahead of everybody else. Or behind us. Those crystals, they always look like this new puzzle limit, don't they? They are a nice True. color. You think the ancients created them? Who knows? It might be related to the message of the sky. Ooh, interesting thought. Message of the sky, huh? They're such lore nerds. I know, it's adorable. I love how they both actually like it. Man, this sucks. I'm not sure what they were thinking. I have to go back to the beach area just to collect another shade? Huh? Pretty much. I thought all I needed was the meteor shade. Could at least have added another shade barrier outside the dungeon, really. I guess we have to return back to the Rhombus to Square. Oh, well, let me sit here and keep complaining for a while longer. <laughs> so, like, wait, are they telling you that you need a certain thing before you go in? Yeah, although there's not really a way to get it. I mean, it's basically just, um, like, people playing the game who didn't go do Azure Archipelago. Oh, uh, okay. You actually can't get to this point because the story won't progress otherwise. Oh, gotcha. Anyway. Huh, come up with you, Shelly. The new wobbly puzzle thingy was a bit confusing at first. But I got it now! The race is still on! <laughs> ah, looks like we're not that far behind after all. Bonjour! It's good old Tony! Um, hi. Hi! I didn't expect an outdoor area like this. Oh, yeah, it's quite exciting! Anyway, I got the race to win, au revoir! Uh, where to though? That's up to you. Uh, Alright, just the way 
listen. Where do you want to go? Uh, it doesn't really matter, but we'll find Ooh, them. what are the little fire things? They're, uh, they're outdoor enemies. Oh, so they're, like, enemies. Yeah, they're enemies. enemies out here. We'll That's be fun. fighting them normally over the course of things. That's fun, I like it. So, <clears throat> the first part of the dungeon is kind of tutorial. Mm -hmm. Um, Which is to teach you mm -hmm. how this works. So, one of the important things about heat is that it will cause it to bounce. Oh. Whereas neutral will not. So you just kind of have to figure See? this out by yourself, I suppose. You, you figure it out by experimentation. Uh, but the puzzles are there to teach you those things. Gotcha, because it won't work and then um, it will work other, other ways. This element can also pick up things like bombs. So oh. we can grab a bomb in it, then move it up here. Oh, oh. I like. So, and then we want to make sure not to detonate it right away. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good idea. Oops, I did that wrong. <laughs> oh no! Too soon. Oh yeah. Yeah, this needs to be over here first. Yeah. This. You can do it. I believe in you. <clears throat> <clears throat> You good? Yeah, I'm fine. Just okay. stuff in my throat. I had some of that too today. Oh, hey. Again with the weird cliff structures. They really do like to do those. <laughs> they do indeed. I know. Like, this is not... You should not rush through this. This is... This is fun. Yep. And it's so long. Like, they make it worth it. The only real hours. reason I'm rushing through this is because, you know... I like to keep these videos relatively short. Oh yeah, and I didn't mean that. I just meant, like, Emily. Like, it's like, Emily, this is the last giant dungeon of the whole thing. Why would you want to rush it? Alright. So then we also have Wave. Wave. So Wave goes from point to point. Like this. Mm. So if we uh, do that, mm -hmm. it'll zap it all the way over there. Mm -hmm. um, and then we can do like this. Uh, shoot it up through that. Mm -hmm. Shoot it like that. Um, and this also reacts with these kind of compressed balls, like so. So we can use that to pop it out of that little enclosure. Nice. And then... Like so. Get that face in the right way. Cool. That's how wave works. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Now that we've got that set up, so let's go talk to uh, Luke up here. Oops. Hello, Leah. You did very well with that jumping puzzle. Mm. From here you are rewarded with a pretty nice view. Mm. Amazing how far you can see from here, right? Mm. See, this is such a huge crater. This whole location is massive. You know, when I first saw Homestead for the first time, I was really surprised that entertainment looked so far for us. Mm. But looking at this dungeon in comparison, I can see how they've managed to create a small village as a side project. <laughs> All right, that's <laughs> enough break. I gotta go on. See you around, Leah. I'm actually going to leave all mm -hmm. of these outdoor chests for next time, just to consolidate getting chests all of Chests or something? Yeah. The chest that was up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw that I just skipped yeah. it. Yeah. Ooh, that was loud. Oh. 
so. Ooh, that is really loud. <laughs> little totem holes. And the trick with these guys is they do these color combos. Oh. So what do you... So how does that work? Do you have to, like, kill it? Color combo thing? Like, how uh, if... If two matching colors are on the ground level and active at the same time, mm. they synergize with each other and start doing much more powerful attacks. So oh, okay. the trick with those fights is managing that. Ah, I gotcha. Because they're not too bad otherwise. Okay. So yeah, here we use Wave to pop this bomb out of this otherwise inaccessible enclosure. <laughs> Got it. So that we can get it up here. And Whee! There she blows. And then I like this little trick. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> right? Isn't that cool? Yeah, like it just fused. It just fused. That's so, so yeah. Clever. And we pop them down there. I like. Get this going the right way. Uh, there we go. Oh, kitty. You cutie. Kaboom! I was wondering, this instead of an Obtainian, this would be more like that final element in the Mistborn series, which I completely forget the name of, because it kind of works with everything. I should note, by the way, mm -hmm. that these guys are not... Yeah. Uh, these guys are not elementally associated with anything. Oh, they're not? Okay. So, the fact that he's using ice doesn't mean that he's especially strong to ice. Huh. But... In this phase, we do need to uh, switch over to that element. I use ice here, by the way, because the um, Hail Flurry is a, is a really nice, quick, lots of projectiles... in a targeted space at once. Okay. So if he uses ice, that doesn't mean he's ice, though, you said. If he doesn't use ice, what is he? He's a guardian. He's a guardian that's using an ice... There we go. He's a guardian that's using ice attacks, but he's not particularly resistant to ice and weak to fire. Ah. Okay. Um, so it doesn't work the same way so, as expect, basically. Mostly to say that there's not a reason to use opposing elements against him. Okay. And you might actually want to use the same element against him because that gives you a higher defense against his attacks. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Leo Sherry! I guess you're pretty much on sync with the dungeon. You just fought one of those statue guardians too, right? Hmm. I like those enemies, they're fun to fight. They're formidable opponents, to be sure. Oui, it's a great feeling to get close for a beating right after dodging their shield. But I guess things would be different for a hexacast, right? More range attacks and the like. Not necessarily. We have a number of close combat moves at our disposal as well. As well. Yeah. <laughs> and I happen to prefer those as well. Ah, oh, I'm in of culture. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go then, off to punching more statues! Indeed. <laughs> like his little smile is cute. Oh, that's deep. <laughs> Very the seeing thing because the fog makes it even more mysterious. Ooh, I know, it's pretty cool. I love you. The little incident is very fun. Uh, one of you, uh, yes. you certainly don't disappoint. No, indeed. So now. I took my headphone off because it was way too loud and it kept hurting my ears. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Well, when, it, when things were screeching, it was too loud. Alright. 
Hummingbirds. Hummingbirds. Ouch. But I can actually I can hear enough through my headphones to know what's happening. So. So yeah. Away, you hummingbird. Yep. Whoa, is he about to say something? Yeah. We just got a level in between. Here she is, a random Leah appeared. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, Leah. <laughs> Hi. You just fought those fast hummingbirds, didn't you? Mm. Yeah, I wish you could have seen it. Huh? That fight was instant. You just barely noticed it, though. <gasps> really? That's cool. Oh, wow. See? That's how you appeared for me as well. I thought it'd be perfect to play a little trick on somebody. You know, jumping right in front of them after they appear from the instance? Why? <laughs> Unfortunately, it's hard to pull that off in practice. You never know where anyone will appear from exactly. <laughs> oh well, time to move on! Bye! Oh, buggy. Oh, buggy. So buggy. That's a buggy for you. That is buggy for you. He is quite the character. He is. He's quite the character. Uh, so what do we got this time? We've got Shock this time. So Shock, as we've been demonstrating this whole time, uh, navigates toward you. Like so. Um, and the really important thing about it is that it navigates directly toward you. Mm. Not toward the shot. Okay. Um, uh, Alright. And he's towards you and not the shot, huh? Yes. Uh, no. We want it outside. So, so we get this guy up and around. Ooh, those are always look so fun with the little um, thing. And the way that I'm doing this, you might not have understood why I did it that way. Mm -hmm. When it has the uh, pharaoh inside of it, it won't go through orange walls. Mm -hmm. So we had to get it on the opposite side of this first. Ah, okay. That works. Did a thing. Did a so thing. it's like a multi component dungeon, really. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is pulling out all the stops. Is that right? Is it like, oh, it's, it's like a the bear. bear, but it's got like weird green like, beehive on its back, I guess. So it's not one of those panda tanks. Go. Nice. Not a panda tank. It's a, it's a bear. It's just a bear. It's okay. a bear. He throws little beehives at you. I saw. That's why I was like. Uh, I, yeah. The yeah. trick to breaking him is break one of the beehives. He'll get distracted by the, the honey. You hurt my bees. No. No. He goes for the honey, and it'll actually heal him some. Uh, what is it, Yorn? Oh. Would you look at this? Very keen eyes, Yorn. We should break. We should make sure to remember that chest. <laughs> Time to move forward. So he's coming okay. back to the chest, too. Though. I just thought the lake looks pretty, actually. <laughs> mm. Didn't expect to see so much nature here. I didn't either. I didn't really know what to expect, but I like it. It's nice. Ah, uh, yes. And we haven't used cold yet, so cold has the same kind of forward propulsion motion as heat does. Okay. Um, the important trick with it is that it actually causes the... Um, the ferret to fall. Nice, okay. Um, so, we'll use that a little bit. So it's not floating anymore. So it doesn't float. You can use that to cause it to drop a level. Okay. 
That's good. So we'll, we'll demonstrate how that works um, right here. Because you want to get it down to the, the next level. Because, yeah, we need to get it down here. Yeah. So we use ice to drop it. Oh, clever you. Look at that. Very, very clever. And then we've got... More totem more guys. guys! Totem guys, totem guys. Those cuckoo totem guys. <laughs> go and so we can use that to uh, avoid that synch synchronization phase by taking both of them out at once good deal all right onward we go and then down here so yeah there are a lot of chests in the uh, outdoor part of this, mm -hmm. but we're not going to worry about those right now, because um, you don't need to gather any of them, and this dungeon is so long anyway that I don't want to waste time mm -hmm. on all of those good. until... It's good to know you can go back and get the chest later. Mm -hmm. You don't want to yeah. go back till what? Sorry, until what? Until, yeah, until there's time. There's time. We'll just have a chest run to the dungeon. Too. That's the idea. Nice. I like it. Good plan. So yeah, bubbles can be picked up with these as well. Mm -hmm. And function the same way with ice. So. Alright. And... There we go. So I get this guy around the edge over here, and then it can be put in the right spot, like so. Nice. Put it there. Do it in the yes. Pick him up down here. Easy shot. Oh well. He'll come all the way around down to the bottom like that. Nice. So now we've got Whee! another one of these guys. More knights! So many knights! Knight dudes. Now, now let's start to do the amount of damage that I needed to. Oh, good. Ah, I got trapped on the wrong side of that. Yep. And that's why I have Battery Assault on, by the way, because it's a great finisher for these guys. Hey! Good deal. Okie doke. Hey, those signs just appeared. Yes, and those depictions are quite interesting as well. You think there's an elevator inside? Possibly. 
I guess the ancients pretty much learned the elevator technology ever since the Temple Mine. No, Boogie. If there is an elevator, we'll be based on human technology. You see, this temple must, must be much older than the Temple Mine. It's a place mentioned in the old text of the ancients. So it must have been here long before humankind arrived. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Still, I bet it's an elevator. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> uh, why is he even part of this this group anyway? Because he has a lot of fun being in it. <laughs> That's fair. I don't know. And he's friends in there. That's what it's all about anyway. It is. As long as you have fun and you don't mess with anybody else's fun. Another one arrived. A master of all four elements. Your mastery shall be tested. Oh my. You. out of the way. Ooh, that so, is so cool. We got a little Lothering. break in the middle here. This is actually here to teach you how these work. Mm -hmm. So fire is horizontal, ice is vertical. Shock just comes after you. Wave creates that little barrier. So one trick, by the way, if you're having trouble keeping track of which element he is, the um, the floor of the arena actually gives you a hint on that. Oh, does it? So if you is look it, at... Like what color is lit up as? Is that what it is? Yeah, if you look at the color that's lit up on the ground here... Ooh. And yeah, as, as you go through this, you'll break his different elements. Alright. So now we've got the real deal for this. And basically you want to leave yourself a lot of space. Okay. So yeah, you want to leave yourself as much space as possible for this phase. Think about so all that you can uh, dodge as much of that as possible.
Gotcha. Woo! Got him! I keep saying that. But it, it makes me laugh. Whoa. Well done. This is the ultimate guardian. Oh, it's another little comet looking thing. Yep. That's yeah, we've got uh, Comet approaching a planet. Oh. That sounds dangerous. So, that's dungeon part one, the tutorial. <laughs> oh. Now we're dungeon part two for Hey, real. it's the Lukes. Look at those guys. Hi! Hey, Zach. Welcome to our little mid boss discussion. Ooh. Yeah, I just had a pretty radical idea. Even our controlled mid bosses. Huh? Just think about it. Highly adaptable enemy behavior, individualized dialogues before and after the fight. How's that supposed to scale, though? You'd need an Evatar for each fight happening in parallel. Well, I suppose they could clone the Evatars. Uh, are you sure about that? Imagine having like a thousand clones of yourself. <gasps> uh, nope. <laughs> yeah, let's drop that idea and never speak of it again. <laughs> Agreed. Let's go on. I mean, it's not a bad idea, but you know. I'm glad that those two were getting along. Midboss was quite something, wasn't it? Yeah, it would have been half as bad if the battle was in arena was inside. Of course. What? That's that's Heights Girl. Oh no, Heights Girl. I forget who Heights Girl is. She's just always afraid of heights. You yeah, just she's always afraid place. of heights. Oh. I'm not a huge fan of heights either, so I understand. Is it a little purple ghost? Yep. Little purple shard things. Oh. They look like they're wearing capes. That's what it looks like to me, anyway. I don't know. I could be wrong. You kind of know what it is. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we're in here. Down there. Okay. All this about navigating our little ball all the way over here, <laughs> so that we can use the bomb inside of it. Like you can do whatever you can do. And then that actually pops it outside. Now we have a little sniper gauntlet. Mm -hmm. And we gotta use our elements to make our way down there. While uh, not getting shot at. Or avoiding getting shot at. Until we get down here. <laughs> The hummingbirds, by the way, basically the idea is you need to get them to shoot at you, and then you, you shoot at them to daze them. And they are, uh, they are resistant to ranged, so you kind of need to get in close to deal damage. Mm. Makes sense. Um, but yeah. There's, uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to this. Oh, yes. As you would expect for a final dungeon. Yes, absolutely. So many things. I mean, you want to, if you're doing a final thing, you want to get the most out of it. As a developer and as a player, you know? So yeah, this is all about getting our positioning right. We need to 
get this guy tucked into this little nook right here so that we can get it on the opposite side of the box. Sounds good. Like so. And then once the box is on the correct side of it, now we can use our little ball to pick it up. Not and so transport good. it all the way down here. Now we have some more of these guys. So many of these! I don't hold them. First, and then we gotta position everything down here. So we got two holes to block this time. Um, but you'll find, if you play around with this too much, that there's not really a way to block both of them at the same time. What you have to do is set things up like this. Wait for this guy to come around down here and then get them in the right place quickly. Gotcha. Oh, I did it! Yeah. Now you're so now here. we're outside. We're up on the upper level now. Yay. Um, come over here and give yourself a checkpoint so that you can get back up here just in case. Oh! Is that how you do it? What do you mean get yourself a checkpoint? Or will they know how to do it? Yeah, just... If they were watching, if you were watching, <laughs> it would be obvious what I just did. Uh, I saw you run over to an area, but I didn't see anything happen. So maybe you should be less condescending and just tell me. There's a floor switch. Oh. And a... Okay. And a... Well, I did see you do it. I just didn't know what I was supposed to look at. Stop time. I don't like that flame person. Also, I forgot that you could do that. I didn't know do. that you could do an instance like that. I don't think I'd ever seen you do that. Hmm? Or you never told me that you did it. I'm confused. What are you asking about? Like, when you said you had did an instance? I never. I don't know if I've seen you do that before. Did you save? Did, did an instance? Remember when you said you were you were saving? And you're like, if you watched me, you would have seen it. I'm no, like, no, I've never I seen you do that. I just have never seen you've you do never, it. You've never seen me step on a switch to before? save to, no. to turn on a platform. I don't remember. All I did was turn on this switch so that I could do this. I, I walked over here, hit that switch, so that you can hop back up here. Oh. That's, that's all. Again, I don't play this very often, so I don't know. Come on, I want to see the dungeon. Oh, it's us! Uh, yes. I need to work this one out so I can update the guy to SP. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's us! And I'm <laughs> bouncing! Go back, go back! No, I want to look at us again. Alright. Oh my gosh. Aren't we cute? Oh my god. I love it. I'm like, quick, 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 let's go! And you're like, no, 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 I gotta figure this out. <laughs> Relatable. Yep. I'm so happy they included us in the end! It's so fun! Because mm -hmm. of course we would be there first day. Of course we, we would. Of course we would. 
I mean, you practically were as much as you could have been, <laughs> right? <laughs> Anyway, sorry about the checkpoint thing. I was just really confused. Thank you for clearing that up for me. <laughs> there we go. Yay! Good job. All right. Yes, the puzzles, they continue. Mm -hmm, the, and they never end. They, they just never end. I like the purple flames. I feel like I had a GIF on my first website I ever made that was like a GIF of little purple flames. So first, so it is nostalgic here. for me. And give this one just a little bit of time before you run it. need to make sure that there's enough time for it to cross that. Check arena. This one I've seen get a lot of people already in the Discord. Oh, really? It's how do I get it through that? And it's, well, it's all about the positioning. Oh. Remember, when you hit it with shock, it goes directly toward you, not where the shot came from. Nice. Did it. Good job. Another Black Knight. Yep, another another Black Knight. The Black Knight always triumphs. Until you kill him. Okay. Out of my way. Just let me try again. Yep. Just not as fast as I meant to be. Not a big deal. Not a That's side number one. Hey guys. Yeah. Hi. Hey. Finally we meet again. That means we have all defeated the bird dude. Mm. Dude was fast, but not fast enough to avoid my punches. Ha! Anyway, what a lucky like coincidence that both of you are here. And why is that? You know, I met Leah quite some time ago. I still don't know much that much about her. Oh, uh, really? Well, there's still plenty of time to change that, right? Right, but you see... With Leah's vocabulary, it's pretty hard to ask her anything specific. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I had this idea. Since you and Leah share the same past, can't I just ask you instead? <gasps> um, 
Lake, what's your favorite dish? I don't know. Don't you think this is weird? Uh, Leah and I aren't exactly the same person anymore. We, of course, but like 90% for her soul, right? Uh, you just can't place a number on that. Come on, what's that to lose? For instance, it's embarrassing, and I hardly know you. That's all? I can talk about myself as well. We'll be best friends at that time. Actually, I'd rather just continue with the dungeon. Bye! Hey, don't just run away like that! <laughs> Poor Emily. <sighs> She's never gonna get any answers. Getting deeper. I'm getting close to the fog now. I hope it's not poisonous. Uh, That'd be a messed up trial. That would be a messed up trial. I hope it's not poisonous. Alright. Don't get too stuck in here. You can't do the puzzle yet. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ooh, I, I really like those little things you look really neat. <laughs> I feel so bad for Emily, because, uh, like, she's right, though. Both of them are right. Yes. <laughs> oh. All these wacky characters. I think, is Leah gonna be able to talk by the end? Or are you just not gonna tell me? I'm not gonna tell you. Ah, but you know. I do know. That would be amazing. I would love that. I hope that she does. Bubbles, like all kinds of stuff. Watch what I'm doing. Basically, you're picking this up, you're shooting around, you're hitting it at fans. I guess this last one is maybe the trickiest. Is it? Not really. <laughs> oh, he got stuck. Oh no! There you go. Yay! So here we are! Yay. We got more snipers. Ah! Uh, get him, get him. Ouch. Careful, snipers are no joke. Seems to be wrong with the sound, because you really should be hearing Oh, no no, that's right. What? They're gonna be in your headphone, that's why I can't hear them. I'm like, why don't I hear them? Oh, hear what? Hear them shooting. Oh yeah, I can hear them in this one. Yeah. It's just still too loud. <laughs> and that's fine. It's just like, man. Where is the shooting noise? I should, be, I should be hearing them by now. You do. You just can't because you don't have both in. Okay. Yeah, we gotta share headphones. I know, we do. It works really well, actually. We have, like, one that splits. So, like, we can have one in each ear. Ah! 
thought it was maybe a good idea to get like a splitter that lets us plug into the gun. We have one actually. Yeah, yeah we do. I need to dig it out. Plane trips. Haha, <laughs> we haven't done that in a while. Sorry, I saw it for a split second. I looked like it was chasing you and shooting at you, and I'm like, no, that's not what's happening. No, that is, uh, I'm trying I mean, to I knew do it that. Wasn't. I knew it wasn't. It just looked like it for a second, and it was weird. But I see. This is a little fun trick. I like. No. Shoot this up here. Come toward you on the upper level. Uh huh. Oh. Uh, yep. That is pretty cool. Drop Ooh. You down like that. Nifty. Position these. Ooh, that is ah. Oh. Mwah. Say sweat. This is so dumb. I'm old. That's okay. <laughs> Sorry, say. Uh, yeah. I knew you were, so I wanted to say it first. <laughs> but ironically. Yes, of course. Ironically. So you watched the other, earlier video. You guys know what we're talking about. Oh, it's one of these weird bears! Oh, Baba. Don't take my honey, please. It took so long to connect. How dare you! I'm a how dare bell. Have you ever seen green honey before? I was a log myself. Once I ate it, it tasted normal. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Hey, it's her. There's like another my, chest. A really dumb Pooh Bear impression. Oh. I didn't really know what to do, but I was like, bears, honey. Bears and honey. Bears love honey. These and stack honey. just the same way as they do before. Oh. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is come over here, pull this guy down like so. Ah, come on. There. And we gotta get these guys stacked up on the top of each other. Like that. So that's good. gonna eventually need to be too.
Kaboom. Kaboom. Very kaboom. Very kaboom. And another chest. Nice. So yeah, basically, the chests we're going to be getting are keys. Two other chests, or...? Keys, like, door keys. Oh, that's good. Um... That's, those are chests you want. Yeah. But yeah, the other chests in this dungeon we're not going to worry about. Okay. Plus, if you get those just as, like, enemy drops, then, then you don't yeah. have to worry about it, really. So you want to position it right there. Get it down there. Let me position these where they're going to want to be. Up here. Yeah, lots of element switching. Hmm. Like, that's one of the things I love about this is yeah. how much use it makes of all the tools you have. Yeah, that's awesome. I think it's nice. And we got another guardian. Another one of those guys. Get that guardian out of here. Here we go, yeah, shock no, boy. No, I'm invincible! Come on, then. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to make those jokes the whole time. Whoa, jeez. Yep. <laughs> I like that strategy. Alright, I'll have you for that one! <laughs> Come on, you. Gotcha. Just a flesh wound. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hard to banter when you're in the middle of a fight, but... No, but I can do the bantering while you're fighting, so... Also, have you noticed? What? Really? The giant hammer in the middle of all these arenas? No! Very Mjolnir-esque. Yep. I like. My cat sees it. It was very cute. Alright. There is you actually need to use the heat to bounce it all the way up there. You can't uh -huh. use shock because it doesn't follow the shot again. It right. follows you. Okay. It's tricky. So that like one is that. tricksy. Mm -hmm. And hey, that's uh Yay, whoa. That's floor two. Whoa. Hi! Oh, hello Leah. Are you enjoying the dungeon? Uh, why would you say no? Because too many puzzles and you hate it. Ugh. Glad to hear that. 
It looks like it'll still go on for at least a little bit. To be honest, it's hard for me to focus on the dungeon. Aww. My mind just keeps going to other places. Aww. I'm trying to remember something. Something important is missing. Mm -mm. Mm. Wait. Hmm? You don't think I should force it? Mm. Maybe you're right. After all, you tend to remember things when you least expect it. Ain't that the truth? My mind just works in strange ways. Mm. Still, I feel like I feel like taking a break right now. That's fine. You do whatever you need to do, Trani. Don't be hot on me. You had a hard day. Here we go. Oh, hi! Leah, dear! I was just having a closer look at the elevator symbols. And then it just came over me how it might all be connected. Huh? Wanna hear a theory? Uh, uh yes we do! Alrighty, let's have a look together. 4-1, the journey, a meteor traveling lonely through space. 4-2, the approaching, the meteor is getting closer to a panel. A planet, sorry, panel. 4-3, the arrival, the meteor is about to reach the planet. 4-4, the impact. Well, I'm sure you get the idea. And blank! I'm certain there is one more floor left. Pick sounds good. So, what do you think this meteor is all about? Say, Leah, do you remember the message of the sky? It was mentioned in several texts of the ancients. Diaro wrapped it in an envelope of rock and ice. And Quinn made it approach his planet fast enough so it arrived in time. Huh. I think so what it, I think that's what this meteor is. It's the message of the sky! Huh. And it landed right here at this very location! I left a it left a gigantic crater, the same we're currently descending down into. Ooh! And I'm sure at the bottom we'll finally find out what it is! The message of the sky, the secret of the ancients! Huh. I really can't wait! Let's go! I love what a nerd she is. She's she great. She is. She's such a nerd. She's great! Man, it's still not over. Does it ever end? <laughs> Didn't you say you like long dungeons? I guess I did, but it's still so exhausting. Oh. Getting too old for this, huh? Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. It's not even your real body. Is that air you're breathing now? <laughs> so, it's the return of oh. bounce puzzles. Times bounce four. puzzles! They're bouncy, bouncy, trouncy, bouncy, fun, 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 fun. So that's one of them. That's also what I was thinking about puzzles. <laughs> There's never only one. Never <laughs> only one. <laughs> right. Oh. This one, wait for it a little bit. There. Got it. Make Yay. sure that you leave it time to get through that. You did it. Good job, boy. Alright. Oh. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, gosh. It is all the You're things. You're really tall. They are extra tall. Extra very tall. So yeah, this is just a lot of these. So many toilet poles. Ooh, yeah, that was the noise that was getting me. I heard it, even though I don't have any headphones on. Need to get rid of all those at once.
Down to one step. Woo! You did it. Got you all. Yay! Supposed to them pretty well. Yep. It's a master key. <laughs> you done it. Right. You go over there. You come up over there. All right. And don't miss this trick over here, Ooh. or you will regret it. Because it'll get down here, and it's like, oh, there was one more. Oh dear. Don't, don't, yeah, don't, don't miss that. He's the one with the tips, he'll save you all. I know the, the tips, I'm here to save you a bunch of headaches. <laughs> Alright. So we need to set this up first. Um, I just so, love they cleared us at the end, I'm sorry, I just got, I was thinking about I know, us again. It was so sweet. So, this is the position you really want for this, because mm -hmm. you want to swap it over to this right after. No, so set it up in this position first. Let it pass through like this. Flip it on this side. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Make it in time, that's the question. Mm -hmm. Yes! Just made it. Nice. <laughs> Yay! Good job! Alright. No so that's all those puzzles. Woo! It's quite a gauntlet. Yeah. That's a gauntlet. That's actually all the puzzles. Oh! <laughs> so a ton with puzzles. Oh my <laughs> gosh! No, I want more puzzles! Hi! Hello! So, we're almost there, aren't we? We did the obligatory final batch of bouncing puzzles. Collected the master key. So the vinyl bunch should not be much further. Mm. Yeah, you seem very determined. Alright then, this was pretty fun so far. I will admit I got more into it than I initially expected. Mm -hmm. Almost made me forget that I'm now a permanent part of this game. Mm. Don't worry, I'm fine. I mean, hey, we now have access to a whole island paradise and all that. We should capitalize on that, you know? Take a long walk along the beach together sometime. Oh. No enemy bashing, just walking and talking in the waves and breeze. What do you think? <gasps> So freaking lootly, are you asking us on a date? He's asking us on a date. <laughs> All right, it's a date. Yay! You just have to find the time with less pale around. Oh, oh, oh. Unless you prefer walking through a war zone. <laughs> anyway, I think we can continue as a dungeon. Mm. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they landed at the same time. OTP. OTP. Poor Emilia. Emily? That's the, uh... Emily Leah oh, ship. there's an Emily Leah ship. Yeah. Well, I mean, it really could almost never be, really. Like, just logistically. It's basically, for if, if for Emily's part, it would basically be like being in love with a video game character. Sort of, but... Very tangible video game character. A very tangible and lovely video game character. Oh, yeah. So yes, more of these fight. I mean to be fair, Legolas is very lovable, but I could not date him.
like the, the lovableness does not equal the attainableness of the relationship, unfortunately. Unless you just want to forever be in cyberspace. Ouch. Ouch. for the final boss? You betcha. Oh boy. Is gonna be another giant Ganesha? Uh, not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty big boss. These guys all seem pretty small time. Alright. That was pretty crap, but... Hey, you know what? Oh well. Oh. You gain all the stuff back? What? No, is this another guy? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we got. This game's so chaotic. You look down for a couple seconds and then everything changes. Yep. Yeah, no, we got a bunch of these guys to fight. I have a hilarious ailment. Too much battle in video games or too much battle in, in shows or anime or whatever. Like, I didn't used to be like this. I used to really like action movies, particularly, like, historical ones. Like, I was obsessed with Braveheart and Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and stuff like that. And I could watch the heck out of those. Thirteenth Warrior. Love that. Except that now, that I'm an old woman in my 30s, apparently, and even before that, like, it, when I was in my mid-20s, I would completely fall asleep during something involving fights. Like, this poor guy tried to show me, like, um, Gundam Wing. And I kept falling asleep during all of like the action sequences and missing all of the dialogue that was baked in, so I would miss all of these reveals and stuff. So, when I say you look down for five minutes, I'm not on my phone, I'm crocheting. Because if I didn't, I would probably doze off. And I don't want to doze off. I like to be present to these things. And there probably have been ones where I've fallen asleep in the past, in older recordings we did of these. Price to say I did not have a crochet project on hand. Yes. I think this works a lot better. Right? Yep. It probably helps. It, oh, it definitely helps. So it's the kind of thing where it's like, do you want me to not always read the dialogue right away, or, or sometimes miss the things you're doing, or do you want me to fall asleep? That's the, <laughs> that is the age of question. Right? Yep. Oh boy, we are wrapping this yep. up. Yep, more There's of these guys. Three of them. Three murders. First of all, you don't have to take all, all three at once. Uh, that's good. That would, that would be crazy. Is that the next left one? You gotta take them all out at once. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Zap. Zap. So satisfied. But yes, now we have to take on two at once. Oh! I guess that answers my question. It's like, are we gonna be doing some of this? And the answer is basically. Yeah, there's a giant gold key and a giant lock. I think it's about that time. Here we go. Ooh. You must put all of your knowledge to the test now. Go. 
Oh. Mm. I wonder what the message will be. Is it going to be like really, really insightful? Mm. Is it going to be? Have to get there. You got a boss to fight first, though. Oh, this is cool. <gasps> Hello, traveler. You descended into the depths of this crater getting ever so close to your destination. Yet there is one last trial for you to pass. The time has come for you to demonstrate the full extent of your proficiency. Oh! It's the ultimate... The ultimate challenge? What's his, like, what's his face said? Whoa! Oh, it's so cool! I yes. love the rings hanging! So yes, yeah, so now we get to fight the element gods! All of them. All of them at once. There's the Pentifist one. There's the Hexacast one. I think, yes. I'm just going based on shapes. I assume I'm right, though. Almost got you. Now these are gods, so you know, don't feel too bad. If you don't get them first try. Yep. <laughs> Haven't worked out. <laughs> You're doing six and five, and then you'll do four and three, and two and one. Huh? I'm confused about what you just asked oh, me. Oh, you're fighting head to fist and hex and cast. So now you're gonna. F are you gonna be fighting. Yeah. We'll be fighting all of these eventually. Oh, you just. You just kill one, and then the other one gets comes in. Okay. The tribe later. Wow, that was quick. Guard, maybe? Oh no, Spearmancer. Yeah, so yeah, we've got Diorbus. Diorbus in here as well. Clogagard, Pentafist. So cool. This is awesome. It's really fun seeing all of them with yep. their shapes and fight styles. It's so cool. You're taking them all out one by one. Come on, I want to see the Spheromancer. Well, he doesn't. Yeah, I mean, this is the Spheromancer. Oh, he's the Spheromancer. Yeah, that's he's wearing him all right the there. spheres. Okay. The one wearing all of the spheres. So, okay. We got a planetary thing going on right here. You want to break Whoa. these as fast as you can. Whoa. So what does this symbolize? What's the symbology? In I don't know. Space. Space battles! Gods! Monsters! Space! That's the idea, yes. Awesome. So is the Spheromancer like the god in charge? I honestly don't know. Yeah, remember. he's the uh... I don't- I forget all their names, so... Oh yeah, there's the Hexa one, and the Pen- yeah. And the Tribe one. Yep. But there's no Duo one, is there? No. I just realized that. So yes. There's no, like, uh, Duo Caster or... Duo Smiter or whatever. Nope. I wonder why they didn't have a two. Because they all. I guess you can do whatever you want with your own thing. But still, it feels like it's like, wait a minute. Maybe every time the two one died. In the God War. <sighs> you understand. Almost got him. You can do it! Nice. Uh, 
That didn't work out. Oh no! That was too slow of a thing to pull off. Oh no! all those guys. Happy you did. Boy, you gotta do them all at once? Jeez. Yep. That's dangerous. Is this the hardest part of the game? Um. I feel like by all rights it should be. I mean, it's a pretty tough fight. Not gonna lie. Out of my way, guys. Get out of here. Finishing that guy in one cycle. No, well, I mean, it I'm not surprised at all. It's just a lot to juggle. This is quite a dazzling fight. It's very impressive. Yep. Are they all shad? Yeah, they're well, they're ancients. Okay. And shad are descended from the ancients. I imagine so. Here, Diaro.
All right, so now we got all of these at once. Oh. Job. I'm actually gonna pop a potion just to make sure I don't eat it at the very final stage here. Good idea. But we're doing good. Yeah, yeah that that last part is. This all just is way too hard for me. Tips? Uh, learn all the patterns is basically <laughs> the tip. Yeah, gotta learn all the patterns and uh, yeah, that's the main tip is. Go. Woo! You're done. Yay! 
And that's that boss fight. Ooh, that's quite a boss fight. Oof. Oof. -a. So. Well. <laughs> good luck with that when you get to it. <laughs> it's not an easy one. Goodness. You made it. Yes! I'm back with our little unobtainium rock. Boof. Oh, wow. So that was the key. Whoa. It's the meteor. Comet? Meteor? Your journey has continued for, for a, a long, long time. time. Let's read it together. You, you traveled, traveled far, far and passed every, every trial. trial. Finally, you, you have reached your destination. destination. You, you, the, the traveler. traveler. The envoy, the envoy of change. change. Your, Your task in this world has been fulfilled. As such, you are now ready to proceed further. Start your journey once more. Because life is there for you to grow. And growth will only happen as your journey continues. Forming your path with every step you take. Traveler, we will await your arrival. In a new world full of wonder. Wonder, wonder. <laughs> I felt like that was the appropriate amount of gravitas, don't you think? Yes. <laughs> Ooh. What's this? Looks like a portal. <gasps> Seeker, we have finally found it. The secret of the ancients. Ooh. Right at this moment, you are standing in front of it. A portal to a new world. Whoa! A technological achievement beyond our current understanding. And also a lead to the current whereabouts of the ancients. Ooh! Yet for now, this portal remains closed. In order to activate, its energy source needs to be sufficiently charged. As more seekers pass the Kulero Temple, more energy should be channeled toward the portal. It is merely a matter of time for it to open. Ooh, that's clever. Seeker, it is thanks to your contribution that we have come this far. You have my deepest gratitude. Once this portal has opened, I invite you to join our expedition to raise Operation Trackwalker to a new level, to follow the Ancients, and enter a new world. Whoa, really? So that's the end, is it? You get to go to a new world? That's the end of Crossroads. A new right. world will soon emerge. So is there a new game of continuation of this? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is not. Okay. Crossworlds, New Horizons. Coming soon to Steam and wherever video games are sold. Coming I don't soon know. to your cross gear. <laughs> new Horizons, a new extension to Crossworlds is currently still in development. Release information will follow soon. Stay tuned. <gasps> wow, so this isn't even like the final release day. No, it, it, it is. They're, oh. they're making a joke on oh. the ever never-ending state of MMOs and whatnot. Oh, uh, well, that's not wrong. Anyway. Hi! Ah, look who's arrived. Leah, dear, you made it. Congratulations. <gasps> you beat her! No way. You here already? You're all here already? Mm-hmm. Beaten in the final dungeon? Oh well. Congratulations, Shelly! Thanks! More importantly, space bird battle! Finally we could find those space birds! They said coming for wasting my time with their poetry. <laughs> Emily, please! Those are the gods of the ancients! We should all be grateful that we finally found the secrets of the ancients. A portal to a new world! I knew it would be something like that! Yup, it's the perfect way to make a sequel. <laughs> Can't wait to run another track of the ancients. Fantastic. <gasps> oh, hey, dude. Huh? Got you, guys, head! Woohoo! Not so smug now that you run it for the first time, huh? Hold on. Hello, everyone. You see, I took longer because I was busy helping Yorn out. Excuses. Hey, I never asked for any help. <laughs> You beat them, you see? Yeah, I guess that was it. Yeah, that was quite the boss fight. You definitely worked hard on it. <laughs> Hi! Hey! Oh, Leah's already here. Beat by your clone! How does it feel, Shizuka? <laughs> well, figures. I'm not the one spending my whole time in the game. Huh, huh. Talking about that, where's Charney? That's right, Charney's the only person missing, it seems. Well, let's just wait a bit. I'm sure he'll show up. Hmm. All in a circle. Um, scratch that. I just checked. It seems he's back in Homestead already? Well, maybe he finished it first? Anyway, so that was a long session. I'll call it quits for today. Same. Alrighty. I'm sure most of us here need a break. It was an honor playing with you all. Have a good night. Maybe he remembered something. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. 
Hmm, I have a bad feeling about Tony. We should pay him a visit, no? Hmm. Alright, I'll wait for you at his house. I'm glad she can go too. I think that's that's just nice. Yep. Well, that's the dungeon. Oh no, that's right, we have to continue next time. Oh. And there's the final MacGuffin. <laughs> oh, final MacGuffin! <laughs> I can't believe it. They hit it at the very end. Of course they did. So, time to hit the beach? <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. I've had enough for today. <laughs> and we have two. Yes. So. But that was fun. That yeah. was a really great dungeon. I know. This is this is the best dungeon <laughs> in the game. There's, there's no... Well, idea. I would hope so, you know. So, being what it is. Worthy... Worthy climax. Yay. Worthy end to everything. We'll see you next time to wrap everything up. Au revoir, chéris! Bye-bye.